Haiti, we used to smile all of the time, make more jokes. When you walk around, you don't see people smile as before. You don't see people make jokes as before. It's become serious. To not disrespect, we become Norwegian. We're like very serious. But we were like this before. We were like laughing people. There was no orders in the country for months after the earthquake. Downtown used to be more crowded. All the businesses was really here. You see, all those empty spaces. This was houses. What collapsed during the earthquake is not the sort of the ghetto, the slum houses, because with shaky corrugated iron sheets and some wood, this would be shaking, and even if it would collapse, it would not kill anybody. Whereas what destroyed, what killed were these heavy roofs cement roofs that, uh, they, uh, that uh, the middle class tends to have. So it really took a heavy, heavy toll on the middle class. All those friends, all those people I love, people I knew, you lose a part of you, a part of you gone. 500,000 people like this and change life of millions. When you see a world, everybody tried to do something, everybody tried to go with their life. I'm sure you have mothers, you have kids, you have a family to take care of. And they have to eat every day they are in the street. After the earthquake, we saw how the whole world came to help Haiti. And we felt like Haiti was finally going to rise. And finally, you know, we thought that things were finally going to get better. But things have not gotten better. What we have seen repeatedly is that the money channeled for the sake of quick disbursement, quick impact, is money that in, in many, many cases will not have a lasting impact. It might have a quick impact, good for publicity, good for flag waving, good for all these things, good for the political pressure back home after such a big earthquake, how come the money has not been disbursed type of thing, argument. But very often we will see that it doesn't have a lasting impact. After two years, millions, billions spent for the earthquake, they're talking about reconstruction, reconstruction, but nothing be done yet. People are still waiting. Red Cross came, there's another organization, came give you some food, blankets, um, like the tent covers case for rains, that's about it really mostly. After that, everything else is really based on you. The continuing you know, life. No matter how bad you see the country is, we are good people. It's just that we just don't have the chance to get our country online the way it's supposed to be. fascinating country that has not been much helped, despite what we say, uh, and it deserves to get a chance. So, you know, I think that's what we should do. But we have to do better than what we've been doing over the past decades. I have come to the point where I think that we think a little differently in regard to bistand. We work with people on a different way.
prosjekt har gitt, det er en hjelpeorganisasjon som vi startet i for 12 år siden, i oktober 2000. Da startet vi med vår første barneskole. Vi har nå i år så har vi to barneskoler med nesten 300 elever. Og I tillegg til det så har vi et ganske stort kvinneprosjekt som vi kaller for Mamma Troll. Eh, hvor kvinner i lokalsamfunnet her får mulighet til å få lese- og skriveopplæring, yrkesopplæring og så har vi seminarvirksomhet hvor de lærer å drive egen business. Og Vi ønsker å bygge opp her og tilby et sted hvor disse barna og disse ungdommene og disse kvinnene kan kunne få utvikle sine egenskaper og sine talent og sin kreativitet. Og ved å tilby denne infrastrukturen da, kan du si, og den, den støtten i forhold til det, så er jeg helt sikker på at de fleste av disse kan bli hva de vil i denne verden, ikke sant? For the kids, we give, we give hope to them. When they go to school, they see other friends, they learn. I think it's a very good thing to give to the children education and hope. project like Project Haiti, those are the ones that have great impact in Haiti that nobody talks about. Because they're not only doing the schools, but they're also giving the parents of the teachers uh, a trade that they can help themselves even after the life of Project Haiti. We for the time for the of the air, the aid of Haiti on the shoulder. Pas jugé frère ou abjoune la vie qui pape j'en finis.